Yeah. So what are you gonna feel? Are you filming today? Yeah, I'm filming a um I am filming simple tips to improve your listening skills. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. This has been the weirdest turn of events. I started a channel so that I could go traveling with my family and then COVID happened. So we never got to go traveling and my channel has quickly turned into a language learning travel, a language learning channel, which I never would have thought. But here I am sharing all of my tips and tricks with you guys as to what worked for me when I was learning a second language and hopefully they help you guys learn as quickly as possible as well. Today, I wanted to talk about the things that I use to help improve my listening skills. And listening, I guess, is one of the four aspects of language that I talked about in my first language learning video, and I'll link that in the description below so you can check it out after this video. So the first point here that I really want to stress is being able to source content that is in your level. There's no point being at the very, very beginning of your language learning journey and then sourcing material that is way, way, way above your level. You won't take anything in. You won't learn about any of it. You won't pick up the new vocabulary. It will just overwhelm you and go in one out ear and out the other. So sourcing material is probably going to be your biggest hurdle. Now I'll link um, stuff that I used in the description box below, podcasts, music playlists, um, audio books and things like that. So what I would do first up is maybe start with books that are directed at older kids or teenagers. One of the very, very first books that I read was probably directed at, at young females and what I would do is combine it with the audiobook version. So what I want you to do is source a book and source the audiobook version and be able to read and listen at the same time. This is going to help your brain see the word, see how it's spelled, and then also hear how it's pronounced. And I think making this link and allowing your brain to make this link greatly improves not only your listening skills, but also reading and writing. So being able to use one of the pillars of language to sort of bring up the rest is a perfect way to get the most out of your study sessions. So I have used Storytel before and Audible, and you can find a Dutch version of the book. One of the ones that I really highly recommend would be Dal is Sheikh Maar Echt Mijn Ding. It's a fantastic book, and it's actually written about the quirkiness of Dutch language. And it's written in short, short paragraphs, so you don't have to listen to a whole chapter at a time. You can just listen to a short piece of information, so you can squeeze them in throughout the day or tack it on to the end of a lesson. Say you might be reading or doing grammar sentences and writing a lot of information, then you can just listen to 10 minutes of spoken Dutch at the end of your lesson, and you've also incorporated listening into your lesson plan. So what I would do is, I would look the book up on Audible and start playing it and find where I'm up to. And then I would grab the book at the same time and follow along word for word what I'm seeing and what I'm hearing. Now, if you find a new word, you can stop it, you can look it up, you can just highlight it directly into the book. And then this will be a ongoing list of vocabulary. You can then add those words later into an Anki deck specific for the book or group them into what type of word they are. So it might be a new noun that you've heard or a new verb that you've heard. And you can have separate Anki decks for each of the different types of words that you're learning. Now, I've spoken about this in the past, but watching cooking videos on YouTube has been one of the best things that I did for my language. Not only am I actually interested in cooking, but I was watching the videos with the Dutch subtitles so that I could see an image and hear how it was said and make that link and also read it below. This worked for me because I actually enjoy cooking and I like to talk about cooking. So the vocabulary was relevant, but it also interested me. There would be no point me going onto YouTube and then watching gaming videos in Dutch because it's not a topic that interests me and therefore I probably wouldn't need to learn the vocabulary surrounding that and even watching the videos wouldn't engage me that much because it's just not my topic. Find 
topics that interest you, and then find material that relates to that topic. Whether you want to follow along on a yoga class and listen to different parts of the body and directions, and it's something that you already like to do or already like to talk about or hear about, and then you do it in Dutch and listen to it. And this is the best combination of things because your brain is likely to take the information in because it's interesting and you'll get more and more from each time you practice this. I will link some of the cooking channels that I used to listen to in the description box below if any of you guys are interested in watching the cooking videos. Another really good place to find content is obviously Netflix. This one is not new. Lots of people have said to use Netflix. Always watch something with the Dutch subtitles. Don't watch a Dutch show and then use your native language subtitles because it doesn't really work that way. Your brain actually switches off and you end up just reading the subtitles regardless. Watch the show in Dutch and then have the Dutch subtitles again so that you can hear how the word is said but then make a link to how it is written. Another really good way to improve your listening skills is to listen to podcasts. And what I used to do is listen to an episode on half speed so I could really pick out all of the words, make sense of the sentence and comprehend what they were talking about. And then I would go back and listen again to the episode in normal speed and see how much of it I could actually start hearing. You can also listen to more than one episode again and again and again. And this creates some familiarity with the words and the topic that they're talking about. One of the podcasts that I personally used to use was Het Leven en Gebruiksaanwijzing. And this is The Life A User Guide. And I will link that in the description box below. But they're very, very short episodes and they interview a range of different people. So not only are you listening to Dutch, but you're listening to various types of people speak it from different ages different backgrounds, there's accents, there's older people, there's people from different parts of the Netherlands. So you're starting to broaden the exposure that you have to the language. I found this to be super, super helpful in terms of being able to practice my listening skills in a relatively calm and comfortable environment. Again, I talked about this in my last video. If you're not comfortable or enjoying yourself, you're not going to learn. Practice it in a controlled environment. Take the pressure off and the expectation and you'll be surprised at how much more you can learn and how much more you'll take up during your study sessions. Another good way to practice your listening skills is to transcribe what you're hearing. So I used to do this for, I found some, some spoken poetry on a YouTube channel on here on YouTube, where else? And I'll link it again in the description. And what I would do would be listen to the episode, listen to the short episode or the short section that is the actual poem because afterwards they do an interview. So I would listen to the poem section and then I would listen to it sentence for sentence and write out what I thought I heard. And then I would run this by, say, a language partner. So for me, it was my partner, but you might be able to take this back to someone in an italki lesson and they can tell you how much of it you heard right. And it doesn't matter about spelling. This is just to try and get the words out and make sure that what you're hearing is what you're understanding. And then you get someone to double check this for you. I found this to be really, really fun almost. I don't know if that makes me like super, super nerdy, but I liked doing it. I liked listening to the poem and then realizing at the end of, you know, writing it out and listening to it quite a few times. Every time I listened to it, I heard a new word. Every time I wrote it out, I would get better and better at spelling. And it was a way for me to really engage with the language. And I would understand more of the poem by the end of it. And it, it makes you feel good makes you feel like you've learned something and it definitely, definitely helps to motivate you and keep going when you feel like you're getting better. So the last thing that you really wanna ask yourself is what part of listening are you going to practice? What are you using these materials for? So I might sit down and listen to a podcast and I might say to myself at the beginning, I am listening to this podcast to listen for new words. And then I'm gonna take those new words and I'm gonna add them to an Anki deck and then I'm gonna be able to remember them and recall more vocabulary. Another example might be that I'm actually just listening from pronunciation. So I might be listening to specific words that I might have trouble with and then listening to just that word over and over and over again, whether that's you found that word in an audiobook, a podcast, or even in a song. 
but are you listening then to the material to improve your pronunciation? Another thing you can do with your listening material is just listen for intonation and stress and tone. And these are all things that are going to make you sound more natural when you speak. And they're going to be more things that make you sound more confident when you're speaking. Now, I said in one of my previous videos that I don't usually like to study with music. I usually just listen to music as a way to still be involved with the culture of the country, but it's sort of my chill time. I don't use it to study. But again, you can use music to study. You can listen to the lyrics and either write them out yourself as you think you've heard them and get them double checked, or you can listen to the music. You can then translate the lyrics back into your own language and then learn the song, sing it, learn the words, learn how the word order works and, and using those sorts of things in your songs. Now I will again link my Spotify playlist that I made back when I was listening to it all the time in the description box below. Everything that I've talked about will be down there, so go and check it out. There is a big list of resources for you guys to help get you on your way to speaking Dutch. So I just went to edit this video and realized that I did not film an outro. I just wanted to quickly say thank you so much for watching and I hope that these tips really help improve your listening skills. If you have any questions about any language videos, leave them in the comments below and I'll see if I can make a video about it. And I hope that you find some new resources down in the links below. I'll see you guys in our next video. Bye.